Good morning, everybody. I'm just going to go through and introduce oregano. This is Greek oregano. We like to use her in our medicine arsenal. She's antimicrobial and we like to infuse her with olive oil, use her as needed, uh, have her on the shelf. What I'm doing right now is I've gone through and I've inspected, getting out uh, the undesirables. Our turkeys would get up here and lay. Uh, it was on the ground and uh, so that it kind of got more sun. And so our turkeys would get up in it and lay. We would try to run them out of it. So we got feathers, dirt. So this has to be cleaned, rinsed, and dried. Oh, this is already a lot. So this year we're going to be experimenting with it and using her as a meat preservative when we process a weather after it sun dried we are going to uh, rub the meat down with uh, oregano to protect it and preserve it. For a longer shelf life. I also like to use her um, tooth and gum issues, uh, oral, rinse your mouth with it. It is a great aid in cleaning. So one thing that I like about oregano too is that she is, I'll call it a uh, touch reactive. Like what we've just done, she's going to rapidly try to reproduce that. The more I uh, pet on her, the more she will respond, I guess is the best word to use. Uh, she's responsive, touch responsive. <laughs> And immediately, by the end of the day, I would see a difference in, you know, her limbs will start lifting, um, her leaves will perk up. Um, so we're going to take this and put it in the greenhouse because I have collected probably a quart, maybe two quarts, a quart and a pint, uh, not sure. But this has to be cleaned, rinsed, and then uh, completely dried. Go through and give it a rough chop before putting it in a jar uh, to kind of open up the leaves and see what that uh, see if that works any better. I'm gonna put it somewhere dark for six to eight weeks and uh, strain it and label it, and it will be good for at least six months to a year, uh, as long as it's. Uh, kept in the adequate climate and stored correctly. Um, we, uh, we don't have central heat and air where we store, so everything can get pretty uh, humid, I'll say. Uh, so we have to watch out for that always. So anyways, um, our next item uh, after this is uh, cherry bark. Um, we went and cut a, a limb of cherry tree and that is going to be another item in our arsenal. This is a good sized limb. Uh, we're just going to go through and scrape it. Uh, that'll go in the medicine cabinet for cough medicine. We'll be back. So just chopped up the oregano and 
have it in three cups of olive oil. Those are all the stems that is left over from where it was drying from rinsing. Um, good and dry. Or I'm going to heat some water in a pot, turn the heat off, lay a washcloth on the bottom and set the jar in there and let it warm that way. And place it somewhere for six to eight weeks.